Hi there and welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers to Pressure in Crusader Kings 3. We are playing the often stressed King Svodoblok of Pressure, but he's he's also a legendary learner. And um, he's on a mission, or on different missions. He wants to kill the Camelon and Pierlins because of the house feud, and he wants to reduce Catholicism because... Um, our dynasty has has been the target of a crusade and we've lost some land because of that. And so we have a like a personal crusade against Catholicism here. And um, the question is whom should we attack then? We have now quite the monthly income so we could attack Sweden, which is pretty powerful, or Norway, which is a lot less powerful than I think we're... We're just going to go for Norway. Because you never know who who will attack you, um, and we have a couple of options here. We could go for Norland, which would help us control the seas here. We could go for Halogaland, which gives us like a really a number of counties here. Um, we could go for Jamtaland, which kind of gives us some room in the middle of it. Um, but Battlepot and Angamonland are pretty good, um, pretty good lands. So I think Norland is a good option, <coughs> and then later on we can pass into to these realms. And these lands are also way better than than these lands. So we'll take quality first. It's only two counties, but um, we will now declare that war. We could call allies to war, but maybe we don't even need to do that. Um, we should do it a bit, though. We should do it a bit. Uh, but first, we'll call the men of arms here. And a good holy order. The Guardians of the Heavens or the Chosen of Pecunas. They have more armored horsemen. Now we can analyze here. What what are they bad against? Hills, mountains, desert mountains, wetlands, and in winter. So they are terrible just for, for this land. Whereas the Guardians of the Heavens, they have a lot of our special archers and they are good in winter. And we have the Faithful of Pakunas. They have crossbowmen. Let's have a look at them. They're bad in warmer lands, but not in hills. In hills, they're relatively good. They're pretty advanced. They have light footmen that are good everywhere. They also have some of these. And so I think we're, we're just going to go for the faithful of Pekunas this time. Just going to have a look at that. Who will lead them? Mm. Maybe Duke Garonis of the Transylvanian Alps. Here we go. Mm. About that. No, oh, that's another men, of, men at arms army. And we'll call in uh, some allies, maybe. Because it only costs prestige. Yeah, given it, it costs a lot of prestige, but. Um, it also gives us a lot of um, security to call them in. And some of the house members as well. At least these dukes and stuff. We'll call in. And the mayors. And there's the Queen of Luke. The counts often have enough to do, but the mayors, they rarely have anything to do. Prince Gedoutas of Luke, sure. Yeah, and they are, they are our call-in reserves, if you would call it like that. Um, so, up against the wall, Norway. Everyone is joining. Do 
Duke Galande. Also coming, Queen Yaw. Yeah, we've invested some prestige into that, but it's fine. It's definitely fine. This is our sieging army. As you can see, we have 118 siege weapons. So we should have a siege specialist here, like Duke Budo of Visegrad. I'll just go here with them. We have these guys who are more like um, fighters and we'll basically guard what we have here. Um, I think this army should maybe cover the back lines here. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. And this should cover the front lines. And there's already some people coming in. We're already moving over here. Schema discovered. Harald of Westergotland. Mm. Mm. Our culture has discovered land grants. Nice. Let's have a look. So we can have land grants. Fabricate claim on county council. Task speed plus 50%. Castle's belly prestige cost minus 10%. Known to the Prussians. Nice. So that makes us way more effective. That they're going over here. Mm -hmm. Unsure. We might we might just ship over there. Oh, they're they're coming now, okay. We'll be going back. Learning available. Yeah, we'll know ourselves. And the death of from natural causes is one year away. We could write our thoughts down. <clears throat> we'll be occupied writing, but it will distress us. Flowing ink, I dip my pen once more. We will write a book at, at the end of this, I guess. That could also be one of our dreams, right? A courtship between friends. Oh, nice. Um, hmm. My vassal Duke Sagonis has honored me with a visit, has brought one of his courtiers along. Sagonis approaches me excitedly. Well met, King Swatoplok. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Natangia. To talk to me, that Petra here might be to service of your court. She is incredibly talented. I mean, she is. The brightest scholar I've ever learned from. I would make use of her myself, but at last it doesn't seem possible. I would hate to see her great talent go to waste. Won't you take her in and unleash her potential? Ah! Oh. I must politely decline. Because it would stress us out so much. And we have another son from our quarter, Douglas Quillis. Aurelis. Uh, you should get someone to marry, though. Um, from from our court, maybe. Caratus Wilkes. Yeah. Aurelis. Uh, he's a goodie. Mm, he's a bastard, but hey. A wide loot will take care of him. May you grow strong and wise. Um, we have taken over a bit of land here. We'll go over there. Perkunas will come this way. The age of the world. I've been studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars. They all seem to agree that the world will end 6,000 years after its creation. By my calculations, we are less than a century away. However, my Vaidalut Buochta urges me to keep it to myself, leave it to the elders, and avoid panic. What if her calculations are wrong? Hmm. She's got a reasonable point. I should consult with Movidalus. Hmm. Yeah, it's a journey. I should consult with Movidalus. Well, we're coming over here. It's a great idea. Oh, look at them. Could we charge in here? Hmm. 
They're fleeing from us, but they will not, alas, they will not reach us. It's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. naked court. Oh, Douglas, open up. It is I, Donut. Our court here. Okay. Isn't she married now? Ah, by, by the peckles. No shame. Guards. Ah, we should marry her to someone. We should marry her to our court, Jester. Why not? Here you go. We caught them. Look, Coronas of the Transylvanian Alps, the old vampire. Mm, what is it with that army? Ah, oh, we'll see. Oh, Vidal Buchotta finished the convert faith in county task, and we have someone here. Karatas Wilkes. Hmm. Each time I catch Karatas' eye at court, I can think of nothing but his crimes. I wonder how many at court know, or perhaps none. Perhaps all the truth will, will out eventually, and it will not do my reputation any good to have such scandals in my courtier's midst. He must be dealt with, or I will have dear of us to reckon with, let alone the court. Hmm. Ah, uh, the world must know. Only a fool will not leverage. Mm, no. He belongs in the dungeon. Mm. It's time for him to leave. Yeah, it's time for him to leave. We're not that extreme. Should just go. He only attempted a murder. I mean, it's not fine to attempt a murder, but hey... Um, oh, we. I think we have to go down here and help us help us out here, because they're definitely coming. I bring I bring rich gifts. Hey, Duke Jeromil. <laughs> Last I bid the Duke arise, confirming my satisfaction and Jeromil's rights to the lands he rules in my stead. I accept your generous gifts. Wonderful. Uh, so we've taken something over here. Let's return. Yeah, it costs us something, but hey, we have the money. Compassion Discord. Moved by my tribulations, Duke Glanda has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, um, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties. However, Glanda's attentions have incurred the eye of Duke Ulinix. Glanda cannot be trusted. It's merely a ploy to exploit you. I mean, we're paranoid. Can the three of us not find common ground. Very low chance. I will take heed of your warning. Mm, we lose dread. Defend the honor of your king. Oh, no. <laughs> I will only place my trust in those who deserve it. Now that's too extreme. We don't want rivals. I'll take heed of your warning. We're thankful because we're also, yeah, you know, you know us. We're we're paranoid. Oh, they're going back. Okay, we'll also go back. Dum da dum da dum da. We have a new novice. Our Vidilut. Welcome to our communion, sister. And yeah, her husband, how about Quitter? Weather's good. She's good with it, and she, yeah, she's she's not gonna be a witch. But who else at the council? Like Duke Bedras? Oh, he he already is a witch. Duke Olinix is already a witch. Count Golding and Duchess Millions are also already witches. Uh, ah, yeah, we, we need to send you out too. Um, down here. Hmm. Prince Ilo improved. Ah. Uh, his wife is not a witch yet, okay. Let's 
give that gift to her. Treasure is craven, but a formidable banneret too. Crazy. He will not die in battle. <laughs> nice. Um, can random a duchess? Oh, not yet. Oh, in Sweden, there's some kind of conflict. Um, they have taken over that. Now we can go to Metalpod. They're already here in Metalpod. We'll go to Helgum. Mm, and we'll attack these people. Um, you, army. <laughs> You'll join in here. Everything's under siege. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And we're getting to it. Oh, they are... Hmm, I don't know. It is I, Ulinix. Uh, Buhota. And this man, Duke Venno's spymaster. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh, Helgum was already taken over. That was very quick. Now let's go to, to, to Morar. Fighting in here. We have a big advantage, but no knights. But we're coming in. Uh, we should have some knights with us, right? Come on now. Save us. Yeah, we have six champions at least. And this is going to help us out. Trial benefits from our spouse. That was a good win. Mm, yeah, we could go to the coast here. The army here. Mm. Just go into the middle of these mountains or something. We'll seclude ourselves. Uh, should we do that? No, because we're not stressed. Prebina Wilkes can marry. Our son! What happened to his wife again? Like what? It's the woman of Count Bedras now. Son, what are you doing? We, we need to give you some land. I can already see that. Ha! Huh. Betten Wilkes. See this Pregolias. Yeah, she's the same age as you. Here we go. Here we go, son. Yeah, we'll give you something to rule. Not something big, but hey. Nice. Uh, so you're doing that. Yeah, let's go to Metal Pad then. If our allies don't do that, we will. What a toast grass is the Sami language. So nice. So nice. We can call him our ally. Oh, we, we won't. We won't. You don't need to. Um, there's our army. Yeah, they're, they're not no help in sieging. That's why we keep them down there. Just in case of a conflict. And we're sieging here now. Very quickly, apparently. We'll go back and protect the siege. Someone wants to kill Bothild. Uh -huh. Aha. Aha. Siege going down very quickly. Nice. Uh, so metal pad one. There's metal pad two here. Going in here. Uh, we should go over there together. Uh, they are actually enough. These guys should help siege. The faction created against us. Uh, okay. How about an army here? They're moving over there. We'll meet. Charge a cask of wine. Yeah, this will be easy. Murder prevent. Family connections. Ah. 
The fateful night everyone else was stopped before the plot was even put into motion. Uh, what has been lost? I can rebuild! I can rebuild. And we get the Battle of Swag going. Nice. Champions fight very well. We gain Metal Pud and we win this Battle Pud. The Duchy of Norland is ours. Expand and we'll grant that to someone. Son, come on, don't lose this again. Um, though we want to try, give him that. Nope. That doesn't work. But him. Angermanland and Medalpad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll get that. You'll get that, young man or old man. <laughs> Middle old man. Oh. You'll get another vassal, right? Your brother, maybe. Mm, maybe that's not a great idea. Maybe you'll gain uh, Count Marcin of Przemkov. Good stuff. Anyways, um, we did it. So the next target would or could be Sweden. We'll make a short pause for that. We will prepare that. We're rather looking into building up some of these. Glimper. Mm -hmm. Kitka. Kuatoke, Akel, Sambiopukar, Wiz, of course, and Anjanavere. Okay. So we cannot we cannot really expand anything there. We can though ransom our prisoners. We shall do that. Captured one of the Camelin and Pierlinen though? No. We haven't. Ransom them. Also gain something here. Oh, we gained a fine battle axe. I haven't seen that. It's good enough. Okay, so uh, do you still have your artifacts, though? No, he has gotten absolutely nothing. Okay. <sighs> I'll give you that mace. It's better than nothing. It's a start, eh? It's a start. Schema discovered. Ah, oh, miserable fiend. Miserable, miserable fiend. Um, house is feuding. Mm. Count of Razianai. Wow, he has extortionate. Wow. Poor guy. Uh, Livonia. Uh, Finland and Aurecia. Yeah, that's that's high enough. We just want the money. And we will repair these. The, the Crown of Prussia. Definitely the Wilkes Tapestry. And the Millions Tapestry. Here we go. Mm -hmm. We shall... Commission an art other artifact. And we'll try a crown. Here we go. Oh, come on now. No. No small king of Denmark. That is Denmark. That and something down here. Jaromil, Jaromil, Jaromil. You cannot demand anything. At that level of power. J 
shall we do with all that money? Proposing an alliance is he? Oh, that was the guy we battled with for an artifact. Okay. <laughs> we'll take any alliance we don't get stress for. Gracefully aging. Oh, really? No. No, 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 no. The workers name precious, precious artifact is proceeding well. Um, it should should impress my vassals, the crown. A new novice, Princess Millions of Pulabia. Welcome to our communion, sister. Nice. Our son's wife uh, shall be bewitched. Not feeling well. <laughs> but uh, she's stubborn. She's robust. She will not die that quickly. Yeah, she's very unintriguing. Like he is. That's probably how he lost stuff. He's an irrational gentleman. Ah, well. We'll, we'll get something. We'll get something for him. Ha, ha, ha. Striving amidst strife. Our Count Janislav has become a poet and he's dedicated something for to us. The Lance's Song <coughs> deals with success and growing greatness. When red plumed war comes to his lands, all flashes of iron and shouted demands, his subjects prove grateful. For if they are not, they learn how it is an empire is wrought. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, I can see this is truly heartfelt. I mean, he's our vassal. We will mm, we'll be nice to him as much as we can without stress. Uh, Duke, Brother Duke Jeremil created the Cadet Branch House Geo. Okay. And there's a new, a new Wilkes daughter, Anna Wilkes. We shall educate her. Mm -mm. Gulbis Quillis. She's certainly very qualified for that. May you grow strong and wise. And she should marry, too. Um, whom shall she marry? Our cousin, the royal architect. There's no kids. Sure. They're not too related. From the age uh, difference already. So here we go. To Wilkes it up. Hmm. How to prepare the war against Sweden? Like, we could get Skarn or something here, walls and towers. Ah, uh, yeah, your daughter Grasses could visit my court in Sigiwara. Mm, he's bossy. Comely, robust, fecund. Oh, um, yeah, okay, she can come. Ah, uh, no, you will not get that. Svatopluk is gaining... Something better due to Queen Grasses. Nice. Nice and sweet. Prince Pribina. Uh, there's a Duchy of Norland. We could usurp that. We could usurp that and give it to him. Yeah, that will not help us much, but... Uh, we like our son. And he shall, he shall be a duke. He shall be a duke. He's getting some money, not much though. It's all good. We're getting 64 per month. Wow. Fellow connoisseur, my vassal t accosts me. Well, Metal Leech, I've heard tell of your patronage of Dobby's Love the Metalsmith. Ah, he helps out. Yeah, how generous of you. Nice. Um... Wilkes' strike has killed my dinner. Aha, the fool went and died without any help from me. Ah, Peckles must have been eager for her company. 
Nice. Camilen und Pierlinnen. Ja, ja, ja. Uh, Kiello. Also one, she's wandering. Here we go. We'll go for that house. Only six living members. Wilkes is far ahead. There's still low county control here. What's the control? 60. I mean, it's okay, but... How about we make a... We'll make a break here and um, let him control that better. And we want to promote our culture, of course. More Prussian for the world. Uh, seven years. Seven years, seven years, seven, six years. Volgast is seven years. Hmm. How about up here? Six years, six years, six years, six years. Yeah, that's better. But also not powerful enough, right? Um, these lands are far better. Uh, we could get into this or into college, but this is six years. Well, let's get get in here. Ah, we increased control in Inari. Ah, very good. We lost that. Development growth is better. Cupid's arrow. My God, Gertus. Been looking crestfallen for over a week now. It's the fifth heavy despondent sigh of the day. I'm so lonely. All I want is a special someone, someone to stand by my side all day. Ah, uh, don't give up hope. <coughs> She's coming at us. She's already a fornicator uh, with some kids. Um, we'll give her someone to marry. Mm, someone not that important. Maybe an older member of Wilkes. Mm, but not at our court, apparently. Uh, mm, mm. I mean, he's hunchbacked. Whom, whom will he get? Right. You marry her. Be happy with her. She needs someone. You will not... Probably not get someone so easily, so there you go. And we're healthy. The healthiest leper. <laughs> the healthiest leper in the world. That's us. Suspicion. I took Olinix up playing with Bo. To my surprise, he ran into a wounded doe. Ah, oh, I staged a whole encounter as some kind of test. Yeah, I mean, we think paranoid is good because we are paranoid ourselves. I mean, it's terrible, but it was certainly a test. Well done, Olinix. Curse your kids with what you have. Otherwise, you'll be stressed if you try to, to make them better than yourselves. That's, that's, the, that's the harsh reality to it. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Hmm. Man of Sweden, he's allied to <laughs> to his queen and to the Duke of Guabislug or whatever. Um Seize the Jura Count, the Jura Duchies, Duchy of Finland. Mm, that would have an advantage, right? Um, no one could join as a holy war. And to take that part would really be good. Even if it's it's a carnage from the strength. But we'll do that. We'll call our allies in. So it's just a strategically very sound decision. And we are already, we have the prestige to invest.
House members shall come. The queens and princes. The dukes and mayors. Maybe this. There's some of them that are so out there. We'll just call them too. I think there's something to be done here in Inari too. Yeah, let's have a look at these more exotic provinces here. They sometimes miss. Um, So let's have a look here uh, at the overview because they sometimes miss something. Uh, like you can build something in a, in a land somewhere there. No, apparently not. Oh, in Chem. Yeah, of course, in Chem. And we could build a uh, temple or a city here or a castle. Even. <laughs> and um, as we are so religious, we'll build another temple. Here we go. County of Vienna. Just out there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. Everyone's is coming in. We have that little bit of Sweden here. Um, we'll raise our men at arms here. So we can quickly siege this and then come over. And then move the rally point to this place. And we'll raise a holy order. They're already hired. Uh, yeah, we want these guys anyways. They are better in, in that circumstance here. And they'll be led by Duke Garonus, I think. Here we go. Transylvanian Alpsman. I should wait here. And here we're waiting it out. Good. So, this is our siege man. He should gain someone who can siege well. Let's siege Finland at once. And him, we want the strong arm of Temish. And here we could, well, I don't know. We'll just hang around here in Metal Pad, maybe until things are clear. <coughs> Siege the fourth, there are the allies, there, the allies are already coming, which is great. And we'll siege here, which will go well. Mm -hmm. They are coming in, but the allies are also coming in. And we'll protect ourselves here. And we'll definitely come over here too. A new novice, you just see us of Norland. Welcome to the communion, sister. Ah, uh, the Pedrorus created another branch. Oh well. You, my son. Um. Hmm. You, my son. Prince Polan, is he married? He is betrothed. Yeah, let's let's look into the betrothal. Uh, yeah, she's already betrothed. That little guy. Oh, we have we have fifteen kids. Is that I I don't know. Is that the max? Is there a maximum to that? Kim. Yeah, we need something more here in Kim. Aviaries. Here we go for the defense. That is really not bad. Uh, 
They're coming in. And they're going to attack us. Which is going to be interesting, to say the least. Uh, we have a lot of champions there. They're defending. Uh, we could call for a hunt, but not right now. Champion maimed someone. Let's, let's be a little bit less quick here. They have a huge amount of armies coming in. Degraded artifact, the Prussian Organon. Nah. Uh, repair that thing. They will have people coming in. Yeah, way more. 7,000 more. This could be a decisive battle. And we're fighting it. And we should kind of charm someone again, right? Uh, whom could we charm? White Roots, do you have? Mm, no. Uh, someone Wilksish. Um, Duke Octun? Ah, uh, no. The Duke of Grodno. A bold antagonist. Oh. Duke of Nitra. He's a Wilkes. He's 52. Let's convert him to witchcraft. Come on now. Nitra is just such a good county. Here we go. The battle is there. King Ulbricht, Albricht is the defender. Yeah, we won big. We definitely won big. We'll go over to Novgorod. Uh, not with the siegemen, but with the others. And prepare our launch. Another child, Octun Wilkes. He's a really great one. Shall teach him. Uh, wow, that that's that's the perfect teacher, right? Cool Quillis. Here you go. Take care of little Octun. We have just the best teachers now. You're taking that on, yeah. We can now control Finland. That was the goal of everything. Uh, we'll go over here to, to Gevler. Of course you want the figure in. Draw a number. Oh no, our counselor millions died. She drank herself to death and there's an inspiration realized. Another, another bad Wilkes crown. This is, I don't know. This is not lovely. This is terrible. Mm. Erudition or guile? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think we we have more than once convinced and built many temples. So we're going deeper into ordained rulership. And we have this holy war that we that we continue and continue and continue. So who could be our steward? He is feeling poor. Hmm. Count Budo of Würzburg. He's also feeling poor. Uh, Duke Cook is the strong arm of Temes. He is 15. How is Duke Olinix doing? He is 13. Oh, okay. I mean... Mm. Uh, swap. Swap a dee dop. Uh, let's order that. Mm, he's got 13. Come on now. Oh, there's so many people. Duke Olinix, our marshal. We'll reassign him. And then we have here this super good guy. The strong arm of Temish, and he will train commanders. 
He's just immense in that, right? He's an unyielding defender, which is just a very, very good skill. And he should... He should do great. Scheme at court. Uh, my concubine is... Scheming. Uh, I will not accuse her. Um, my handsome lead. Oh, Count Tarvet is coming. Show him in at once. Objectified. Uh, Princess Gist is swooning. I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Uh, oh, the another Vitalist company is founded. Uh, yeah, take... That city, Saleski. We're we're very, yeah. You've seen that. What 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 happens there? Now we have the ability to uh, bring out forty thousand troops from from our own holy companies alone, which is fantastic. Oh look, there's there's a big army coming in here. <coughs> They're using the straight. Uh, you wait at the straight and we're going to siege here. Old court, call hunt, seclude ourselves now. Now first we have to decide this war. They're coming, where are they going? I have to see this. So we go over here and siege. Probably here wouldn't be bad. Mm. We'll see about that. And you move over there. Another child, Agnieszka. Who shall educate her? Our cousin. Very nice. May you grow strong and wise, little one. Pedagogy! <laughs> A court artifice has got an inspiration. Ah, nice. Uh, what kind of inspiration did you gain? He wants to forge a sword. Okay. We get that so rarely we will fund anything. Very fundamental. Uh, they're going over here. We will go back with our good fodder. Mm, yeah. Siege is going over. We'll be going over there. A motto for the ages. Ah, uh, what? What motto? Uh, what do you think of adding your family's motto? Sure, sounds lovely. We're getting into that, definitely. Oh, look what, what else, what we can do, so many things. Oh, well. well. They're coming over now. Interesting, interesting. So, I will also call that army in. Charge! Charge. Oh, they are sieging here. Who is ruling these lands? Siege of Porvo. A grandson. Let's get, get in there. Charge. Mm. Shall get in here. And then get in here. Already taking them on with our good fodder. Oh, we need some more people and they're coming in. We, we might catch them. Nice, we did it. Okay, you two. Uh, you go siege here. Uh, we'll not be good at sieging, but we'll still hire someone to siege. You are good at sieging. Mm, you can go to 
Halsing land. Yeah, we're already improving commanders. It's so good. Okay. Okay, hunting towers constructed in chem. Sure. Vienna. I'll get more of that. Our acquaintance elf god died. Oh well. We do that. Oh, apparently there's nothing there. Blessed to have such grateful servants. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, we'll siege here. We have a new novice, Duke Mildes of Nitra. Welcome. Well, they'll be coming in. And we have disruptions for the inspiration. Um, at least hear him out. As a learning challenge, yeah, our courtier follows Leandu. Yeah, at least hear him out. Um, but that is... That could make it worse. Yeah, it's a higher... Slightly higher quality. Yeah, good, good. Demanding of an artifact? No, you won't get the figurine. Everyone wants that figurine. Poland comes of age. Nice. Uh, he grows up fast. He's a holy warrior? Wow. What a man. What a man. A famous champion. Betrothed can marry. Show our son. Such a greaty. The greatest of the greaties. About a 95%. We could go over here. Hmm. I'd like to do that with someone really good. Duke Coronas. Charge! Must stop the villain. Uh, I don't know if that's good. I surely don't know if that's good. Ah, but we've won now. We've won the war. Ah. The war is over. So be it. Control Niland. Ha, ah, it's great. Who, who got Niland, though? Countess Ranhill. She's Catholic. Uh, will you convert? She might accept. She might accept. We'll, we'll try it out. We will try it out. Um... So, we got that. We got that. That is strategically so good. Um, she wants a hook. A weak hook. And she will convert. Uh, I will not bargain for your soul. Yeah, she'll be. She have a. She'll have a liege. Uh, uh, we are no. We are not the liege. She has a liege, and her liege is our grandson. And our grandson is a vitalist. He will surely convert her. What will we do now? Uh, it's time to let some people go free. Engulf. We can ransom this man, and we can ransom this man. And then... Mm, ah, yeah, he, he already made that work. Um, what should we do? Yeah, we gained another Wilkes crown. Mm, yeah, frustrated, we call it the miserable... Wilkes Crown. We cannot accept that because that name is too long. The Odd Wilkes Crown. Ah, that's why it's that's why it's too long. 
another Wilkes crown. Good. Good then. <laughs> uh. Um, maybe we shall learn a language, right? That's also something we enjoy from time to time. Um, can we learn a language from our son? I don't know. Not really. Uh, maybe from one of our concubines. Personal. Would need to be something personal. Uh, maybe from one of our friends we could get that. The King of Polabia. Not really. Hmm, we have so few friends. We could learn more though. Lithuania. He's still a widowist. Novgorod. Oh yeah, we could learn his language. Is Slavic. Let's make that better. Gerba. No, yeah, he's not the he's got not, not the best kingdom, but we support it anyways. Um hmm. You know what? Let's uh let's celebrate this and then go on an on a pilgrimage. Here we go. Celebration is for everyone who helped. Ah, oh, more adultery. Mutual spirits. Yes, yes. We form a friendship with Duke Octun, maybe. Sweet. A troubled vassal. Garonus. I need to talk to you in private. We lose uh, stress and we gain a hook and everything's nice. Okay, yeah, it's, it's it was a good feast, and we survived it without anything else. Uh, let's go on a pilgrimage at once. Let's go on a pilgrimage. Uh, we want as far away as we can uh, to Arcona. Far away from the buzzy court. It's time to depart. Yeah, let's go away. It's also stressful there at the court. So many people. The <sighs> license expired. No! <laughs> no! The holiness of the forest. Yeah, we'll, we'll spend some time here and contemplate the universe. Far away. Uh, and we gain the secret of the whole of body. Know yourself, your limitations and the full extent of your reach. Unlock that. Yeah, we're a little bit of a scholar, but first know yourself. My son's Prince Niners had an extra martial affair. Ah, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. there was nothing. We will protect our son. Hmm our mail. We need to repair it. Wow, it costs a lot. Uh, Vassal will lose land if he inherits a foreign title. Not that we care much about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to kill someone from the Camelon and Peerlinens. Uh, he has a bastard child. We don't care. Boiling anger. Daga struggles. That even she struggles, it's calming. Oh well. Up late. Time disappears in Leandra's smithy. Drinking mead as we excitedly discuss the sword she she's forging for me. Am I imagining things or is there an indescribable uh, tension? 
How dare you? No, uh, I can't. Adultery is a sin. We're too shy. We're also away, so we cannot really do it. <coughs> mm -hmm. Everyone struggles to deal with us, and we lose stress from that. It's kind of funny, right? Uh, the Norway man. Yeah, he's had enough of us, I guess. How about Bavaria? Wow, they are they are pretty strong. France, though, is even much stronger, and of course, Byzantine Empire. It's crazy strong. Oh, we got a Wilk sword. Look at that. Prowess, injury resistance, and knight effectiveness. My lord, my beneficiary Landru approaches me with a wide grin. She presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, a folded iron sword of excellent craftsmanship. The hilt and pommel are decorated with yellow inlay in an intricate twisting motive. Oh, this is a lovely sword. Wonderful. Let's have a look. This might be even better than our current weapon. Prowess, intrigue per stress level. Prestige, personal scheme power. Hmm. This like kind of fits us. This doesn't really. We'll still rename it. Um, Svatopluk sword. Svatopluk. Yeah. Svatopluk Wilkes sword. Twelve twenty-eight. Here we go. <coughs> yeah, I know we can see it in these three. Fidelity without malice. Elegantly inscribed. Maybe it could be a weapon for our heir. I mean, but I think he has a weapon. Here's King Golding's dagger, but the other weapon would be way better, right? Um, it's just a better weapon. Hmm. We could give that thing to him. He already has an heir, our grandson here. He has nothing. It's time to give him something, right? We'll give him an artifact. Yeah. He will soon marry and he needs a good sword. So we'll give him that excellent thing here. He will love that. It will protect you. It will protect you in choppy waters. Ah, oh, she's inspecting a ship. What? It would be easy to have my agents drench the rowboat meant to ferry her out in flammable liquid. Wait until it's out in the middle of the harbor, launch a flaming arrow and then just let the water claim her. What a weird plan, but set it in motion. Oh, the, the children went in, but they admitted what they did. They're honest. The flaming arrow shot by my agent blazed a burning path across the harbor only to miss the boat. Ah! The fire fizzled out of the cold ocean water. Passengers of the boat stared at it without comprehension for many seconds before pandemonium broke out. Fortunately, the archer got away and no traces of my involvement could be found. Um... If at first you don't succeed, we'll try that again. Poor harbor people. And we've arrived in Arcona. Nice. I have walked the holy path for quite a long while, but that was the intention. Mm, can we commission another artifact? No, and we return. It's good to be home. We're a pilgrim again. Everything is nice. We're not stressed. What a beautiful time in our life. What a beautiful time. Not at all stressed. We have really some things we could do. And we will do them in the next episode, dear friends and deep thinkers. It's, it's time to say until next time again. Wait for before we next pounce on Norway or Sweden. And uh, 
will defeat the Christian menace at the in the north at first and, and form a good vitalist block here against Christianity. But Christianity is also busy, right? They're up against the Ashari and the Ibadi and maybe also a little bit against the Khuzerite. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. See you soon. Until next time, have a great time until then.